Hey guys, it's Nisha Lang, aka my best lebs here. Welcome to a very big special vlog. Um, today is the day I go to the other festival. It's quite late actually into the night. Um, it's uh, probably can't read that, but it's one fifty three in the morning because um, we've been getting ready to go. Well, not ready to go, but I'm just in bed because I'm gonna go to sleep. Um, so I just felt starting it early, so. Yeah, so I'm going to wake up in the morning and get changed and get into some nice outfits. I have had some nice outfits done. Um, I'm planning to go live on, well, on my backup account, if you want to give that a follow. Because unfortunately, I don't know what happened, but my I got kicked off my main account for some reason. So I've been trying my best to get it back, but no, nothing's working at the moment. So for the time being, please follow my backup account, which is more of my best lives. I will leave a link. Um... I will leave a link below, um, and I will put it at the end of this video as well, um, yeah. So yeah, it's festival vlog time, so I'm going to head to sleep now, and then I will wake up in the morning, and we will be beginning, and this is where the magic will begin, so see you in a minute, guys. Morning, guys, um, uh, so it's now... Uh, nine fourteen in the morning. Um, I'm gonna just chill in bed for a bit. <coughs> um, then I'm gonna uh, right, just start slowly getting changed because well, we're not going until the afternoon. Um, yeah, so. Yeah, I'm just looking forward to this because I've never, I've never been before. It's my first time going to the Albert Festival. Um, literally, I'm buzzing. Right. So, t the plan is for today. Um, the plan for today is basically well, first wake up. Um, much chill for a bit. And then around the near mid afternoon or like around eleven, I don't know. But whenever my sister gets back, um, we're gonna uh, get changed into like some festival outfits that we got. I got from the shops yesterday. Um, yeah, and then we're gonna um make our way. Yeah, literally, I'm. I've been wanting to go to the festival since I was younger, but I just couldn't, like, because obviously I was too young, and sometimes most children, like, like especially with me, I'm really sorry about this camera, like, because the camera, qu the camera quality is so bad on, on here. I don't know what's wrong with it, but yeah, I'm sorry about that, I'm so sorry about that. But yeah. Um yeah, I'm looking forward to it with some acts. Like I can't wait for Anne Marie. She's one of my idols. She's actually here on the wall. Um yeah, I cannot wait to see her. Uh tonight or today, it's what um with I'm seeing One Republic 
I'm seeing the Human League, and I cannot wait for them because I love their tunes. Um, and then on Sunday, actually, we got quite a few on Saturday. I still, like I said, Amory. So on Saturday, we got Amory, Sam Ryder, we got George Ezra. Um, who else? <laughs> I have to look at the lineup. <laughs> let me know if let me know if you're going to the other festival or like well, this video will be out. Um, this video will be out in like a few well about a week or in two weeks. Um, just let me know. Let me know if you've been to the other festival. There you go. So I'm just gonna try and find the lineup. So on Saturday we got George Ezra, N Dubs, Anne Marie, Sam Ryder. Um, example. And then on Sunday we've got Robbie Williams, but I'm not a big fan of Robbie Williams. And um, we've got Niall, can't wait for him. James Bay, Ella Henderson. Quite a few good acts. Yeah, so. Yeah, I can't wait. I'm looking forward to it. So, yeah, I will definitely try and vlog as much as I can. Um, but um, unfortunately, due to copyright claims, I'm going to have to mute the videos because copyright. And I don't want to get in trouble. I'm really, I'm really responsible. Yeah, so um, what I'm going to do now is just chill for a bit and try and wake myself up because I'm still like half asleep and half awake. See, I'm still tired. Um, so what I'm going to do is just probably have some breakfast um, and then see where we go next. So I will see you all in a minute best celebrity fans um what do you think so i'm all ready to go now so um i'll be vlogging throughout the whole day so we're about to get on the bus very very soon oh my god i'm so excited um but yeah so um i've got a nice nice um like space spun hair so like sort of thing i've got some glitter on my face so um yeah so we're all ready to go so we're just gonna have a few drinks and just have something to eat and then we'll be off so we'll see you in a minute I felt like doing this because um, I didn't want to bore you guys while you're just listening to music while you're just watching, but I felt like doing this. But anyway, this is the moment when I got my wristband. Um, I will show you it um, later on in the video. But this is when I first got in, which was a real moment. It, this is my and this is my reaction as soon as I walked into the to the entrance, basically. And as you can see here, my reaction was priceless and, and mad. But unfortunately, due to copyright claims, just in case. Um, I had to meet the clips for obvious reasons, but um, yeah, at the moment Sugar Babes was playing when we got when we arrived, and they were brilliant. At first, I didn't know who they were until they sang two songs I actually knew. Um, I can't, I can't remember what, what they were called, but one of them was called Push the Button, and the other one was like I can't sing it because because I'm copyright. But, but yeah, I knew two of their songs, which is at least is a good thing. So because I've never been, been to festivals before. Um, I actually was, um, obviously I was nervous to begin with, um, but I actually, because I'm, I'm quite anxious when it comes to like standing in crowds, but I actually built up enough bravery and bravery to actually go into the crowd, because as you can see, you, I actually am quite close to the stage, it, it, was, it was insane, it was brilliant, like I was just so proud of myself, yeah, so they were on for a, quite a few, quite a few, about a few minutes, they were on for about, can say an hour? And then, as soon as like the act's finished, like people will leave the stage. Well, some people stay, some people just go off. But yeah, we were just all just vibing to Sugar Babes, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Literally, as soon as I got there, all I just kept on thinking about was Anne Marie because she was like the main. She was gonna. I knew. I knew from the very start. And as soon as I I got my ticket, I was like, she's gonna be my main highlight. <laughs> but um, yeah. As you can see here, we're still vibing to Sugar Babe. Um, yeah, I recorded quite a lot of footage 
Um, like you obviously you'll see more footage coming up later in the videos. You'll see like Amory, you'll see One Republic very very shortly, and you'll see Human League. Yeah, we saw quite a few other people. Few, excuse me, we saw quite a lot of other acts um, when we um, when we were there. Yeah, we arrived at about I could say three ish, and we left at like near two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, it was a good night. I don't know what else to say. We're just still vibing. The but yeah, um, but yeah. Anyway, we're still dancing, still dancing. I should say actually, this nice. Um, I don't, I don't know if she'd be watching or not. But if she does watch, um, there was this nice lady um, right near us, and she um, recorded some bits for me so I could dance. And she was honestly the sweetest um, lady ever. Like, shout out goes to her. Oh, here you go. Here's One Republic. Um, so yeah, they sang all the good tasting tunes out there, like. Um, I'm worried about it from the film Top Gun. They sang Counting Stars, Secrets, Love Runs Out. They sang literally all of their good classical songs, so like all the good chart, like, all of basically some of my childhood songs, basically. But my God, look, you, as you can see, we got even closer um, to near the front of the stage. But you, when um, when you see the clips of Amory, you're not going to believe how close I was then. You'll see that coming up later in the video. But anyway, yeah, more Republic brilliant um definitely i danced the whole day the whole time they were on they were on for about near an hour i think there is a certain there is a, a certain amount of time that the uh, acts are on for so it's about an hour or near 45 minutes and here we go we, uh, this was around about 11 o'clock in the night this was the human league and wow they were brilliant again there's only two songs i knew from them um but yeah the two songs I knew was Tell Me When and Don't You Want Me Baby. Them two are one of my, my favourite Human League songs. Um, but yeah. And then once they finished, we got the bus home, as you can see here. Yeah, and like I said, it was a great start. But anyway, over to you, Leisha. Hi guys, um, just got, I just got back home. It's uh, quite late actually in the night. It's 3.24 in the uh, um, evening. As you can hear, my, vo my voice is gone. My voice is slowly starting to I'm slowly starting to lose my voice because I've been screaming as you saw in some of the well. Um all the posts will be on Instagram, so I had to mute some of the videos for copyright claims, so I do apologise for that. Um but yeah, so day two we get we've got Anne Marie, which I'm really I'm really buzzing for. Um got George Ezra tomorrow, Sam Ryder. Yeah, we've got quite a few bunch, and I will record those as well. So, yeah, day one, mission completed. Perfect. 10 out of 10, or 100 out of 100. Even though we had a few ups and downs, I'm not going to ex um, explain them. We've had a few, like, uh, ups and downs. A few down, only, like, a few. Like, we've had a few problems, but it didn't stop us from having fun. But, yeah, I'm going to get some, I'm going to sleep now, because, like I said, it's, really late so one more thing when I, when I walked in like because you, you get you get um you get given these it says weekend on it but yeah, that's why i was quickly change but anyway i'm um, i am gonna get to sleep now guys so good night sorry guys before we move on to day two i completely forgot about this but um on day one i actually went on this big first wheel and i'm about to show i'm gonna show you some clips now so here we go and and once again, guys, sorry, I had to mute it due to copyright because I didn't want to. I just did, I just don't want to get into trouble. But here we go. This is we went. This is the first we went on. I went on with my mum, my sister, and her her mate, as you can see. Um, so it was quite a lovely view actually. You can see the whole festival from like up above, which is pretty cool. Like you can see the whole island, as you can see, like of the Isle of Wight. It was pretty. It's pretty cool. Like especially if you're watching, it's a good way to watch a lovely sunset. To be honest, but it was quite a. But yeah, like I said, it's quite a nice view in Perch to look at the whole festival, especially if you're seeing it up from up above, like seeing it from the skies, which would be pretty cool. I also went on this other ride, which takes you even higher than the Ferris wheel. It actually got to the point where I had to take my hat off because my hat was blowing away almost literally. I was like, oh my God. But anyway, I'll show you more rides later on in the video. But anyway, here's day two. Hey guys, this is day two of the Ride Festival and this is the big one that I've been waiting for because anne Marie's performing tonight, today. And... I'm excited. Yeah, we're just getting ready to go. We're going to be getting the bus there again and, and see what we can do there. 
So yeah, I will see you all in a minute. So yeah, we got on the bus and um, throughout the whole journey on the bus, I was just so nervous because I was saying excited for Amory. Um, but yeah, literally, I was buzzing and shaking. Oh yeah, here we go. Here, this is Sam Ryder. Unfortunately, he had a few technical. There was a few technical problems with his um, time on stage. Like either the screens would mess up or like his earpiece would fall out and things would just go wrong with the play. But bless him, he didn't. Ha so unfortunately, due to that, he didn't have much time on the stage. Bless him. Sam Ryder is like, honestly one of the goodest singers of all time. Like I, I, I love all of his songs. Like they're all the best. So yeah, I'm. I obviously I'm sad for him with what happened. Um. But yeah, so um, hopefully he comes back down for the again for the future, and hopefully nothing goes wrong next time. So, um, but yeah, as soon as he left the stage, I was just I was well, not shoving, but proper proper trying to get to the front. But as you can see here, this was the main highlight. And wait for her, wait for it. There she is. Um, but yeah, there she is, Anne Marie. As soon as she walked on that stage, I screamed. But as you can see, look how close I am, like. Like, I don't know if you saw my Instagram story, that she actually gave eye contact to me and just like she pr proper looked at me. I was like, and I, st I started proper freaking out when she looked at me on. But as you can see there, she's, oh my, she gave me the best, what, 48 minutes or like an hour, hour of my life. She made it, she made that day the absolute banger. Like, I was, I, I knew all the songs, I, I danced the whole time. I, I basically just let me air down and had the best night, the be the best hour, while well, we're on stage. But there she is, my queen. There she goes. But the feeling of her being right there was just shocking. Oh, and here's it. I love this clip, by the way. Like I love this bit. Like I, the way she waves as well. It's just cute. Like I just love her so much. But as soon as she finished, like finished up, I said thank you. I've right as my last song. I was just like, no! And I was actually quite upset and depressed that she was all over. But um, I am going to miss her. I still miss her now to this day. Um, but yeah, as soon as she left, we went for food. And we just had a few drinks and had just had something to eat. And then we had then, yeah. And then George Ezra came on stage. And, and again, George Ezra was just brilliant. There was a point where I just urgently needed to sit down because like, because you get that feel, because you know if you've walked quite a lot and just you walk around, you stand up for ages, like, not even ages, like hours or days. Like there is a point where your feet get extremely exhausted where I had to go and sit down urgently. And we were honestly so tired where we literally said we should go home because how tired we were. It was about nine o'clock-ish, I think we left. But yeah, there we go, that's us traveling home. But yeah, I was so tired and I, I went to bed, so yeah. But yeah, that was a really good, um, second day but here we are now it's the last day day three the saddest one yet because obviously i was devastated when the third day when it was day three and it was because the last one but anyway back to you leisha hey guys so this is the last day Whoop, it's a bit bright <laughs> um but yeah this is um day three day three of the last of the festival and unfortunately so I'm, I'm the brightness in here the brightness is really bad um, but yeah, it's um the final day, unfortunately. So but yeah, look really nice for anything. Though. We got Niall on today, today, which is ah, got Niall. I'm I'm honestly buzzing for that. I can't wait for now. Um, I still can't get over last night. I really I as soon as as soon as Anne Marie walked on that stage, I was in tears. Like I was just in floods of tears. Like because you ride always you ride right in front of you. Like, I just. <laughs> but yeah day three and the last one so yeah i'll let you know when we get there okay. yeah um and then at the end of the festival when it's all over I i've got well, sorry just, we're all we're, our whole fam my whole family are going literally like, we've got my mum's friend that's come in i've got my friends that are coming we've got quite a lot of people that are coming but i will give you a whole review because this video will take quite a lot of time to put together. So I will do like a little review. Um, editing, it's going to be, a, it's going to take a while to edit this video. Um, but I will tell you everything from Friday to day. So yeah. But yeah, day three, day three and the final one. I'm, I'm, I, 
even though it's been like nearly over 24 hours, I miss Anne Marie so much. Even though I didn't really, she gave eye contact to me though. I was like, well, since she looked at me, I was like, I started freaking out. But um, oh, if I was at the front, she came down on the stage, and she like she was like how held like it's like held everyone's hands. I was like, mate, if I was down, <laughs> um, but yeah, this is day three though. We have got Niall on, so I'm gonna try my best to get some footage. Um, but yeah, I do hope you're enjoying this vlog so far. I'm I'm enjoying recording it for you guys. So anyway, this is like I just said, this is the final day. So I better make the most of it because who knows, well, depending on the lineup next year, I will go if it's, if it's good. So yeah, um, yeah, I'll see you there basically. Well, I'll be, I'm going to get on the bus. We're going to get on the bus again like we always do. So I will see you all there. So as you can see here, we are on the bus to go to um, the festival. We were all a bit sad and tipsy because obviously it was the last day and we wanted to make the most out of it as possible. It was raining really bad that day. and um, But yeah, we the rain didn't stop us from having fun and just letting our hair down for the last time. But as you can see here, Niall was on stage and honestly, it was a bit, I was a bit disappointed because I was at the very back. I wanted to try my best to get to the front, but, um, but unfortunately I just couldn't get to the front. Uh, quick enough but I did try and get I did my best to get a lot of footage of him like, as you can see you can see him on the big screens but apart from that he was brilliant oh even though I was disappointed but anyway he was I was speechless I was so happy that I managed to see him it was one of the he was I was quite emotional I was, I was quite an emotional wreck actually on Sunday for obvious reasons because it was the last day and I was really missing Anne Marie so much but when Niall just came in I was just like my happiest because obviously it's nice when you see a lot of people you look, you look up to and they're just right in front of you on the stage. That's a, that's a really good thing. But yeah, as you can see here, we're still watching him. Like, we arrived a bit late because we had like traffic and there was a few delays. Well, not delays, but like we had a few problems trying to get there, which I'm not going to explain. But um, but yeah, <laughs> we managed to get there and watch a bit. We watched um, Niall and he was, like I said, he was just absolutely amazing like I, I love him so much i was hoping that like even though amory performed yes that day that day after yet yeah, that day after but like before i was really hoping that um she would come running on and singing that um the song that they, they sing together our song i was really hoping that would happen but unfortunately it didn't um there's always next time if they it's because they're on, they're on different days but it would have been really cool um to see them like collab on stage right in front of me because I'd, I'd be screaming if that it's kind of like again like with Care Size songs and, and Don't Play Games like, I was like don't tell me Care Size <laughs> but yeah anyway enough of that but yeah Niall again like I, even though I'm still we're still watching him still quite disappointed that I was at the very back though I did try my best to get to the front but it just gets really 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 packed and busy when you're there especially the Saturday was the busiest one but apart from that, it, he, he was just amazing. Um, I miss him already. I miss him so much already because, like, he was just he, when you're when you're watching it on the telly, it is impressive watching it on the telly. But watching it in person just blows your mind because of the atmosphere and everything around you. Like, there's different sounds and music coming from different places, and you're like, where's that going from? You can like figure out where things are. But um, yeah, it was quite an experience and I really, really enjoyed it. And as you can see, Niall is still going. Um, yeah, I took a lot of footage of Niall as possible. <laughs> Even though I'm not, it's really hard to like, when you're dancing, you get really distracted. But as soon as Niall finished, I was just so upset. But here we are, we're, now we're coming. Then me and my dad and my brother's mate, we went on this cool ride. At first we were like it was this won't be bad and then it went the whole way it went the whole way around which was intense like you, as you can see here like oh my god I was literally screaming throughout the whole time on that ride but it was just so much fun and funny at the same time but literally it went the whole way around and it went up super duper high and it was just like I just said it was intense and crazy like as you, it, like it, you just it's basically a massive swing loop but yeah, literally, it's one of the craziest rides I've ever been on my whole life. Like, as you can see, look, you can just see how high it goes and, like, how fast it goes down. Like, there was a point where I thought it was just going to, like, 
<laughs> like it was just that mad. But as you can see now, um, it's starting to get very, very dark. And um, then Robbie Williams performed on the stage, and at his grand finale, um, some fireworks came shooting out, which was really, really beautiful. And as soon as I saw the fireworks, I just knew like my time at the Isle of Wight Festival was coming and drawing to a close because like when you see like confetti or things fly out that's when you know like it's all like it's almost coming to the end it's drawing to a close like even if i watch clips on youtube like they're, they're all available on youtube and if you do have sky um they are available on sky arts um so feel free to if you can watch that if you've got sky um but yeah even if like i just said watching it on sky or if you're watching it on youtube it always makes me cry because how much i'm i'm gonna miss it and i miss it so much it's like definitely one of the best well the only but the, it's the first ever big festival event i've ever been to that's that had over like over a thousand people in one big field basically but it's been actually the best weekend and I was just crying the whole time throughout that evening. As soon as I saw the fireworks, that's where the tears started. And my emotions were a bit mixed. Mostly it was sad and happy, because I was happy because how pleased and how lucky I was to grab a ticket. And, um, and sad that it's actually drawn to a close because how quick it went. Like the whole weekend went in a blink of an eye. And it was just... Honestly, the best weekend of my whole entire life. So, a massive thank you to all my first celebs, my family, and friends for making for basically find my happy place and making this ma amazing weekend actually happen. Because me generally, I thought I was never gonna go, and and here we are. I finally made it, and I had the best time of my life, and I'm just so thankful and grateful. I have so many family, friends and good celebrities that I can watch and just be happy, I guess. So a massive thanks, like I said, to my celebs, like Anne-Marie, importantly, because she performs and her music put a massive smile on my face. But as soon as the fireworks finished, we went to Back to the Big Top and we saw this amazing drone show. It was honestly the best thing ever. Like they show cool like shapes and patterns up in the sky. Um, as you can see, there's a guitar, and there's times where it showed you cool words. Like it said, like one said, "I love my festival 2023," and it said, "See you next year." And it showed you um, uh, like acts of that have performed this year. As you can see, look, there's a different shape forming now. But honestly, the drum show just made me cry even more because how emotional. Because I just knew our time was drawing to a close at the festival, and like so. As soon as we left, I was just in tears on the whole the whole way home. But it's going to be a weekend I'm never, ever, ever going to forget. So I'm just so pleased that I've, I've, I'm lucky and pleased to share this, share these memories with you guys. So uh, I'm just so grateful and happy for for it all. Thank you, everybody. But yeah, watching that drum show really made me emotional because, like I said, I knew it was our t our time was over, and yeah, so we left, and I was just telling my dad and my whole family how thankful I am, and we got on the bus home as you can see here. So it was quite late again. So as soon as I got home, I just crashed onto my bed and fell asleep because <laughs> I was so tired. I took the Monday off as well, so I'm gonna explain more. Back to you, Leisha. Hey everyone, sorry if I'm, I'm a bit of a... I'm not feeling too good today. Um, I, don't, I don't know what that noise was, but anyway. Um, yeah, I'm not, I've am not. i got really bad hay fever and I'm not feeling too good, So, but I had to get this done and out of the way. So I apologise, I look a bit of a mess right now, but I can get I can get through it. Don't you worry. So, Isle of Wight Festival 2023. Wow, what a weekend it was. I still can't believe... Like... It's been a week because obviously I, it's, this took me a whole week of editing. Like, it's been the best weekend of my life. Um, we did so much when we were there. Oh, here comes my cat. <laughs> Don't ruin this. <laughs> um, but I'm just going to go through the whole weekend, even though you saw it, but I'm just going to go through it again and explain what my best bits are. That's my cat. Come here. Come here. <laughs> even the daughter. Come here. She's on her way. Here she is. 
But anyway, if you want to follow their account, it's Kitty Dancers. They've got a, they've got a YouTube channel, so feel free to follow them. Go on then. But uh, <laughs> that was gizzy. But um, yeah, so Friday was the, the start. Even though it opened on Thursday, but we didn't go because we were just prepping things, like preparing it all. So if we went, the first day was Friday and we saw One Republic. We saw the Human League. I think uh sugar babes that the, all, all the acts we saw on the first day were one republic were my favorite like they sang all my favorite songs which i'm so happy about like counting stars i'm worried about it um secrets it was honestly the best feeling ever i was just so happy especially how close i got um so they we arrived when sugar babes were on so we went in and watched them i only knew two of their songs which was push the button i can't remember the other uh, the other title of the song um but you'll see you'll see um unfortunately because of copyright i i am um I, I have to mute the videos but you'll um, i will be posting all the clips on my instagram and my tiktok if you want to follow them so unfortunately do not follow my main account i will change it up so please follow my backup which is um uh, my back i'll put there will be a link at the end of the video but yeah so enough of that but yeah I'll, you'll see clips all over there and follow my tiktok as well so and twitter as well <laughs> um but yeah day two also we got back actually on day one we got back quite late it was about like three o'clock when we got home ish <laughs> but yeah we still stayed up really late we were just having a laugh and just talking about what we did on friday but then day two came which was my favorite because of Anne-Marie um she blew my mind she literally blew my mind because the feeling of like I've met I've well you can say I partly did and didn't meet her because she gave eye contact and winked at me, um, so you could say I partly didn't and partly did meet her, like so you could say that. But yeah, I feel like I've met I've met two of I've seen two of my idols now in person. I've met I've seen YouTuber Ali Law and Anne Marie. So next on my list is Adam B. Fingers crossed next year he does like a book signing thing, and then. For his second, because he's got a book two coming out um, near the autumn, I believe. I'm not sure. Um, but hopefully next year he might do like another book tour thing. And hopefully I'll go and actually meet Adam, which will be amazing. But um, yeah, sorry about the. It's not a really. I, have not... I haven't got a tripod. <laughs> there we go. But um, yeah, day three was just amazing. Definitely my favourite because of Amory. We saw Amory. We saw George Ezra. Unfortunately, I couldn't see example because how exhausted we all were. Like I just had to, because he was on quite late. Um, I was I'm a bit gutted, but I saw him on the TV and he was brilliant on TV. We get, I get so many weird noises in my house. I think it's my cat. But anyway, but yeah, day two was just my. Fa I was just so sad when Anne Marie just finished up. Like I was just so sad. I actually started crying a little bit. How upset I was, Anne Marie. If you're watching this, I don't think you will be, but if you are. You're just, you thank you just for making me really happy. I guess like you've made me, you've like your music have helped has helped me find my happy place. Basically, all the stars that I watched like Adam B, Tom Rosenthal, Anne Marie, all of them, uh, Dave Williams, and Deck, Joe Tasker Lee, all of the amazing guys that I watch and yeah, all of the celebs that I love, they've helped me find my happy place, and I'm I'm at my happiest point now. But you see, I thank you, especially to Anne Marie because I saw her. Um, she, I was speechless. Best week, best day ever. And then day three got here. Um, as you can see, I don't have my wristband on anymore, but here's proof. It's right here. It's my wristband. <laughs> Just in case these might think, you didn't go, did you? But no, I did. I definitely 100% did go. Not clickbait. I actually went. <laughs> okay. But yeah, here's my wristband. Uh, I managed to get it off. You have, apparently have, you have to, to get it off, you actually have to cut it off, but I managed to, um, like, make it loose and, but yeah, I'll definitely keep in that for good, uh, good memories, a souvenir, <laughs> but anyway, yeah, um, day three, not, we saw Niall, um, yeah, Niall was definitely, obviously, my favourite on Sunday, uh, but, uh, yeah, definitely, the, oh, the drone show at the very end got me in tears, and the fireworks as well, you saw, you just saw in the montage, uh, the, when I saw the fireworks and the drum show they did at the very end, I was just, 
I was in so much tears. I'm, I'm feeling emotional now, like, because, like, it's my first time and I'm, like, down in the blues because it's all done. If you know what that means, because I supposed it on my story, if you know what down in the blues means, it's, like, festival blues because, like, you're just sad and depressed that it's just over and, like, it goes in a... It goes just... It goes really fast. If you, even you, you want... Because you, you want it to go... You want it to go really, really slow. But it didn't. It went in a blink of an eye. Just like that. Like, it went in a blink of an eye. <laughs> and it's just... It's been a week ago already. Like, this this time last week, One Republic would have been on. And tomorrow it'll be Amore. And I'll be quite emotional for tomorrow. But, yeah, as soon as we... As soon as we... Uh, I saw the, saw the fireworks in the drum show, I just knew... Our time was coming to an end here. And as soon as we walked out of the gate, I was just in floods of tears, like how emotional. I, all emotions were crashing into me, like tears of happiness, tears of sadness, all the emotion. not ang apart from anger, though. I wasn't angry at all. Over that. Mostly it's just sad and happiness. Um, and then we got back home and then we were, I was just chilling for a bit. And then the Monday, I didn't go, go into college because I just couldn't be bothered. Well, not could be bothered, but I was just completely knackered, and obviously I, I would have been hungover because <laughs> I had quite a lot of alcohol. <laughs> not gonna, I'm not gonna go through that. Um, but yeah, I stayed off, and then I started editing this video that you're watching now. So yeah, um, and then uh, last started from Monday, they posted the uh, well for Sunday actually. They actually um on Sky Arts um if you've got a Sky. Um, you can watch um, the highlights. They are available on Sky Arts and YouTube. You can. They are available. Um, but if you have got a Sky account and you've got a Sky TV, you can watch the full highlights. And But yeah, I did see... Um, what makes me laugh is I saw one of my friends that was on the telly. She was she was from a raven. Um, one of my friends was on TV, which was funny. I tried to see myself, but I couldn't. I tried my... Um, I try my best to try and find myself, but if I if any more things get released, I will try and have a look and I will post some clips on her uh, in my Instagram and Twitter. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, yeah, we watched the highlights. Um, and again, it it caught, it made me it put me in tears again. Every time I'm probably gonna watch festival videos, it's just gonna make me cry now, because like it's all over and you're just down in the blues. I just. I just can't believe it's over already. I'm sad. I'm actually sad. I'm getting emotional again. I'm trying not to cry. When I when I was walking past it um the other day, I just saw it basically just getting not ripped down, but just getting watching it getting taken down just went it just really hit my heart to be honest. It really hit me like like a bombshell, like it's not gonna be there. It's just gonna be like a blank space for the next for 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 about a year now until they rebuild it again. Like I have been to see. I have been to see Close Park when it's empty, um, because um in school I had we had like a we 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 went out we went out for a walk and it was like where should she have lunch you know and we, and then they told me this is where the festival was I was like really I didn't know that so I basically went there but it was a blank space but now I've been there what it looks like what it looks like when it's a festival and it's brilliant um I will if I can I will try and take videos of what Sea Close Park looks like. When it is empty, when if I do go past, if I do go in there for a walk or something, because I do love going for walks. It does do my mental health, but I like how we've just literally moved on. Like we're not, but the festival definitely a favourite. If the lineup is good, I will see if I can go again next year. Um. So yeah, so that's pretty much it to be honest. Um. Now I'm going to show you some pictures. That I'm good. I've. I've made a special little slideshow montage for you to see and um, for you guys to see and all the pictures that I've taken because there are some pretty good golden ones in there um, that I'm going to show you now. So, uh, yeah, enjoy the slideshow.
you enjoyed that slideshow guys honestly thank you so much for watching today's video um like this whole video it took me ages to plan and edit like this took me a whole week to basically put together like it's like a half it's basically like i don't know if, i don't know but it's um well, as soon as i put these videos together it will be a long video probably about half an hour ish but thank you very much for watching if you've watched the whole video you are definitely a true my best lebs fan um I hope you really enjoyed today's video. Um, quick shout out to a few um, of the celebs. A, a shout out to Amory. A shout out, even though they won't watch it, but a shout out goes to Amory and Niall. Like, everyone, all of you, like all the all of my friends, um, my family. Just thank you to all of you for basically helping me making this happen. Basically, like I'm just at my happy place now, and you guys have basically kept me on my feet and kept me moving and just I'm just so pleased and grateful that I've got all of you to basically keep me smiling and just keep me mo keep me moving basically like you guys are all just legends and I and you you guys are just amazing and you I don't know what else to say I'm just so grateful I guess I guess but anyway, this video will be getting a bit too long because it will take me too long to edit. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching, everybody. And I will see you all very, very soon in the next video. I don't, um, hopefully it might be the, because I did do a big plan. So, um, like there was no new video last week. Um, so I'm uploading. But yeah, you'll hopefully the next video will be like the Mario episode. So, um, the uh, episode three of Super Mario Bros. Wii. And then hopefully I've got my 24-hour challenge planned as well. So that's um, coming up underway, um, in the way. So that's in the works. So I will be doing that. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, again, thank you very much for watching. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye!